Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro from dr-retro.com and this is another weekly finds video. This week is all about really rare games and even with my experience as a collector I haven't had a week that had so many extremely rare games come in. So let's stop the babbling and start looking at some rare games. First up is Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Curse of the Azure Bonds. This is a smaller sort of big box and it's also uh, not upside, not vertical but horizontal in design. And if I open this up, I'm going to show you this screams nostalgia for me. 5.25 inch floppies. Don't they look amazing? I have no means of playing these at the moment, but just having this as a, as a collector really uh, makes me happy. So it's a role-playing game, really old-school DOS, as you can see here in the, in the box shots. And um, yeah, let's start completing the Dungeons & Dragons set. Then another old PC game, Wonderland Dream the Dream, and as you can see this is based on the Alice in Wonderland story, uh, also floppy based, and um, it's an adventure game. So Wonderland Dream the Dream, then King's Quest 4 Perils of Rosella, and the one I'm now missing is King, King's Quest 1. If I have King's Quest 1 I have them all complete in the original releases. Then Ultima Underworld 2. Labyrinth of Worlds, another PC adventure slash RPG game, and I'm also trying to complete the, the Ultima set, so this is one step closer. Some more PC stuff, Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Am, um, I already have Baldur's Gate 2, but I don't have uh, this expansion, Shadows of Am, so it's a nice addition to the Baldur's Gate set, still looking for the Collector's Edition set, which is really, really hard to find. Then Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, it's an adventure game, it's quite a new, uh, not quite new, but it's um, I believe early 2000s somewhere, let's see if I can find that on the box, uh, no I can't find a year there, I believe it was early in the 2000s, I actually played this game quite far until I got stuck and then just quit, and uh, I'm looking to complete the Indiana Jones games on the PCs because they're really good adventure games usually, and uh, this is not a step closer. Then what most consider the best RPG of all time, Planescape Torment, uh, created by the guys that also did uh, Baldur's Gate. To be honest, I haven't played it, but I've heard so much good things about it that once I have my gaming PC done, this will definitely be installed and uh, let's see how far I can get in this gem. So Planescape Torment. Then another expansion. This one is the expansion for Diablo 2, Lords of Destruction. Already have Diablo 2 big box and now I have its only official expansion as well. So that completes the Diablo set for me since I already have Diablo 1 and its uh, expansion Hellfire. If you want to see videos, videos on those unboxing, check out the channel of course. Diablo 2, well, I don't need to say a lot about this, I think. The best um, action, action RPG I've ever played. Simply, that it, that's it. Great game. Then Discworld Part 1, uh, based on the stories by Terry Pratchett, and this is not in a big box kind of thing, but it's more like a book, as the disc here, and uh, this is the manual attached to the other side of the book. Really nice edition, but I also believe there's a big box version out there, so I'm still on the lookout for that. Then Betrayal at Krondor, a huge box, full of floppies. Fantasy role-playing from the mind of Raymond E. Feist. No clue who that is, but at the time he was probably pretty well known. And as you can see, it looks like uh, your standard mid-90s RPG game. Then Betrayal at Antara, which is a follow-up on Betrayal at Krondor. Let's give you some box shots. Again, RPG game, mid-90s. Then we have two games that I accidentally bought, or well, I didn't accidentally buy them, but um, I thought they were English versions and they turned out to be German, which is a pity because this one is really rare. It's the Indiana Jones Adventure Kit and it has two of the older uh, Indiana Jones games, The Last Crusade and Fate of Atlantis. And the same one I showed you earlier, um, in German it's called the Turm von Babel, Tower of Babel, but uh, the, the English version is the Infernal Machine. So when we look at the back of the box, you see the first game is a really old school point and click 
and then later this is Fate of Atlantis and then later it turns into a 3D adventure game. Same goes for Queen the Eye, it's an adventure game based on music by Queen, the famous band and uh, quite hard to find but again this is a German version which is uh, not what I'm looking for in my collection. So this one's going out the door again. Then three more here. First one, XCOM Apocalypse, famous strategy uh, RPG. Um, I haven't played this part, I played the Terror from the Deep on the PlayStation 1 for a bit. Not really my type of game because it goes in really deep. This is really OCD type uh, strategy gaming, but uh, it's definitely something I want for my collection. Then Fallout, well, yeah, Fallout is still famous nowadays because it had a reboot a couple years back with Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, etc. This is the first one. Post nuclear role playing game. And um, yeah, this actually reminds me, the graphic style looks like a gritty, yeah, well, Diablo is already gritty, but a gritty post nuclear uh, Diablo. I haven't played this one, I tried Fallout 3, not my type of RPG, but the old ones look really cool. Still looking for Fallout 2 now for my collection. And then Jazz Jackrabbit 2, The Secret Files. Jazz Jackrabbit is a game that is created by um, one of the guys that later started Guerrilla Games, which are now famous for the Killzone games on PlayStation 3. And Jazz Jackrabbit is a really fast-paced platformer, only released on PC. Let's see if I can get you close zoom on that. Uh, you play jazz, you run around, you shoot everything that moves, and um, this was a great game. You could play it against someone, split screen, then race each other, shoot each other, etc. And you've guessed it, that's where I spent my hours playing it with my brother, shooting him, he sh him shooting me, etc. So there's one more PC game, but in between I'm going to show you this. This is a Moss Communicator set. It's uh, yeah, two really cheap-ass walkie-talkies marketed as mask toys nothing really special but for my mask collection just uh, wanted to pick that up then the last PC game I'm gonna show in this part of the video is a really rare one and this one just screams old school gaming and this is wizardry the legacy of Lil Gamin the third scenario I'm not sure if I pronounced that right but I don't think anyone knows how to pronounce that right this is really, really old. It's from 1987, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Um, it was somewhere on the box. Oh, there. Yeah, 87. And as you can see, the gameplay shot. Just check that out. Is that old school or is that old school? So, I'm going to show you quick what's in the box. This is also a really rare game, by the way. But you could have guessed that with its age. This one plays on a single... 5.25 inch floppy, so that's 128 kilobytes. That's like uh, about a, uh, one eighth of a megabyte. Plays on both sides. And here's a manual. And there's also a really cool extra, which is a little uh, block of paper that you can use to map out the maps in the game. Because there's no map system in the game. So that was today's part of this weekly finds video. So it's day two of this week and are you ready for more PC gaming madness? Because if you're not, get to the chopper now because you will need to be evacuated because this is some crazy PC stuff coming up. So the ones that don't want to see it are gone now. Let's get to the games. D. This is a horror mystery adventure type of game. Also got released on the Saturn and PlayStation. This is the big box PC version. Then we have Close Combat, A Bridge Too Far. Quite an old PC strategy game, strategy war game. And this is quite a famous series, also really popular and these games can be really expensive. And I was quite lucky to find a couple of them because you'll see more later. Operational Art of War. The guy I bought this set from uh, really likes his war games because you'll see a lot of war stuff. Most of these I didn't even know by the way. Eastern Front, Talon Soft Eastern Front doesn't say anything to me. Then Panzer General 2, which is a rare game that I know. The PlayStation 1 release of this is also a rare game and it's a strategy war game. And this appears to be a German version, which is not what I hoped because German versions are quite hard to sell over here. Next bunch. This one you might recognize from the back. 
you've seen it before Diablo 2 really evil head on the front that's of course Diablo and like I said best role-playing uh, action-adventure RPG oh, game ever at least in my opinion then Unreal this is the first Unreal game so it's not Unreal Tournament but Unreal this is where it all started uh, I think I've said this before but when I first played this game I was blown away by its beauty this game looked amazing for its time and really changed the uh, FPS games uh, throughout the years Close Combat Part 3, The Russian Front Panzer General 2 oh, I thought that other one was Panzer General 2 as well so maybe this is an expansion or something this one is, uh, this is in English so maybe it's the same game but a different language version which uh, makes it also have a different box art you see that often with, uh, with games this is a book about the game that I showed you earlier in the video um, Queen the Eye, like I said, a game uh, based on the music of Queen and this is a making of book which comes with a CD-ROM which has uh, music and, and uh, videos etc on it let's get a quick scroll through the book Queen the Eye, like I said here you see the members of Queen John Deacon, Brian May, Freddie Mercury and Roger Taylor and this is how they created the different zones in the game different characters I've actually, like I said, I never played this game but I do love Queen music and um, I'm actually thinking of playing this uh, once, once I have a gaming PC it looks quite cool don't know if it got critically acclaimed or it got burnt down but if you've played it let me know, let me, s let me know what, uh, what you thought about it so this is a making of book not sure yet if I'm gonna keep it or sell it because yeah I'm not sure yet like I said so again next pile oh almost threw them all over the ground there first one is the shadow of ice Serbius nation number one multiplayer fantasy game goes solo by Sierra it's containing shadows of ice Serbius and the fates of Twinian single and multiplayer game modes blah 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 here you see one shot of how the game plays and up here is another but it's a whole lot of UI and not a lot of gameplay probably old online game then Severance Blades of Darkness doesn't ring a bell for me, never heard about that Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun, of course I heard about this one of my favorite RTS series um, I love the, the Red Alert series more than the normal Command & Conquer but um, these are great games as well. In gameplay they don't differ a lot. Aliens vs Predator, really scary first person shooter game and this is Age of Wonders Ancient Saga of Strategy, War and Magic Let's see the box shot hmm, This game looks to be a point and click adventure as well, uh, sorry uh, like Diablo action RPG and again another pile let's do some non big box games for a change this is Fallout Tactics it's a tactical spin-off of the Fallout games I showed you Fallout 1 earlier that one is for my collection this one isn't because it's not in the big box release and I know there is a big box version out there this is X3 Reunion Trade Fight Build Honestly, never heard about this. Looks like a space uh, building game. Then Civilization 4, Sid Meier's Civilization, a really famous simulation slash uh, building game. Not my type of game. Civilization 4, Warlords. So this is an expansion to the earlier to the game I just showed. This is Soldiers, Heroes of War, World War Two. Looks like a crappy war game and Silent Hunter 3 which is a submarine game and we'll get to older Silent Hunter parts in a bit because I have uh, at least one or two, one or two of those uh, in this set as well more big boxes F-15 Strike Eagle 3 this is a flight game and if you look at the back of the box it shows a really cool uh, F-15 probably and then it shows in-game and that looks quite decent for its time I guess this box is really heavy so let's take a quick look what's in there because it feels like there's a ton of lead in there oh 
yeah no wonder the original seller added all his save games let's see these are all normal floppies and these are all save games save 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 so basically it's five game floppies and a whole lot of extra weight with his uh, save games gonna throw those out or keep those in not sure yet so that was F15 then we have Panzer Elite so that's part one of the Panzer Elite series oh no wait Panzer General that's something different let's see if this is a different type of game yeah it looks like you're commanding a tank which is different than the strategy game I showed earlier this is Grand Prix 3 not a really big racing fan these games never never interested me and then civilization part 3 showed part 4 earlier and this is part 3 Let's see if there's some even older versions in there as well and um, more civ than ever so and another pile the first one is risk this is a board game, a uh, game based on a board game, everyone knows the board game and I can honestly say that this is the only board game I've never ever won. I really love Risk but for some reason I either think too easy or think too, uh, too hard which always causes me to lose. So this is the big box PC version. Then we have Panzer General Assault 3D. I'm not sure if this is part 3 or just part 3D but uh, this is in the Panzer General series as well. Then Baldur's Gate, showed you Baldur's Gate Shadow of Arm before, that's the expansion, this is the original release. And um, many consider this a better game than Diablo, personally I like Diablo more. Then Age of Empires 2, The Age of Kings, uh, really similar to Warcraft but I never got into the Age of Empires series like I said before. Um, it's a really good R RTS though, I recognize that, but um, not, my, not my RTS, 